Get your pan heated up. We are also heating up a pot of water because we are cooking pasta. Okay, so over to our prepping station, we're gonna chop some vegetables. So we got one yellow bell pepper, a yellow onion, four cloves of garlic, and a bunch of green onions. Hiya! Who? Where you at, Chuck Norris? <gasps> I'm sorry, Chuck Norris. If you're watching this, I did not mean that. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get this in a bowl off to the side, and then we'll start sautéing it up. Okay, back over to our hot pan. We are adding a stick of butter, which is also two half sticks. Once your butter has melted, add your vegetables. And get stirring. We want these vegetables to get really soft. So we're gonna saute them for about 30 minutes. All right, so these vegetables are getting right about where I want them. My water over here has been heating up on a low heat. So now I'm about to turn it up high and uh, boil some pasta. Okay guys, so water is heating up over to our vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and add one pound of Louisiana crawfish. Ooh, buddy. Get stirring. Okay, our water is boiling, so we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt to this water. Season our pasta. Next, we are adding one pound of fusilli pasta. Make sure we stir this around, get it moving. So the package directions say nine to 11 minutes, but I do want it more al dente, so I'm going with the nine minute mark. All right, our crawfish have blended nice with our vegetable mixture. So at this time, I'm gonna lower my fire to a simmering heat, and I'm gonna add one pint of heavy whipping cream. Blend that around real good. Okay guys, to this mixture, I'm adding one half teaspoon of salt, one half tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, and one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Paya! So be cautious with uh, the amount of cayenne pepper you use. You may want to just taste it here and there. But the thing is, there is a lot of dairy in this dish, so it will cut down on the spice. Okay, guys, we finished cooking our pasta. We're draining it right now, and then we're going to add it to our pan. Here we go. Beautiful. All right, let's blend this in. Beautiful. All right, guys, so we're gonna to wanna to cover this up and let this cook on a low heat for another 15, 20 minutes. So it has been 15 minutes. Let's take a look at this. Yes, indeed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Crawfish Monica Pasta. Okay, so at this point, you want to turn your fire off. I'm also going to top mine with some fresh parsley. Oh, yeah. Well, that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Get you a fork and plate up. <laughs> All right, let's take a bite. Ooh, look at that yummy crawfish. Mm. My mouth is actually watering right now. That has such a good creamy flavor to it. The crawfish tastes really fresh because I buy Louisiana crawfish. The pasta, it, it just comes out so good when you, you cook it to its lowest time of directions and then add it into the cream sauce and let it cook down even more in there. Mmm, this whole thing just melts in your mouth as you take a bite. So good. Mmm. 
I gotta tell you, I'm looking forward to you guys trying this and sending me your pictures or comments or whatever, because it's really good. Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a good one. Paya!